How can you describe what a scene is music? The scene is music can be described very lyrical, bel canto. His introduction to, to the solo parts are very much like opera, sometimes very unexpected. Um, for example, a very fast uh, tutti entrance, and then all of a sudden the music stops, and there's this huge aerial light by, by the solo instrument. most common research to compose was actually paraphrases of operas. He would take melodies of the operas uh, at the time, he would just take different arias and write theme variations of those pieces, you know. He would take theme variations from Rossini, he would, and even Mendelssohn style, you know. There's a concerto called Concerto alla Mendelssohn that when you listen to this concerto uh, on the double bass, you, you are trying to figure it out if you don't know the composer, if Mendelssohn wrote this, for example. Uh, because he will take uh, parts of operas, arias, and he will apply them to different instruments. Uh, most of his music, uh, of course, was for the double bass. instrumental work based on the melodies from that opera. And this is based on Puritani, which was Bellini's last opera that he wrote when he lived in Paris. And Botticini originally wrote the uh, Puritani paraphrase for solo bass and orchestra, but eventually expanded it in this work, which was written for Botticini himself to play along with the great Italian cellist Piatti. Okay. It's very important, you know, as a double bass player for me, 
be an advocate for his music and to try to get his music uh, played more in the repertoire, you know, of, of, of our culture because uh, he was a precursor of this music. Sometimes you cannot have opera before, but you can have a, a piece that, you know, resembles opera and, and still get the feel out of it. Opera approaches are very expensive, but you know, instrumental music is, is, is a lot cheaper. And it would be very nice for you know for people to to get more knowledge knowledgeable about Bodice. So to finalize things, how does Bodice make you feel when you hear his composition, when you get to play his compositions? How does it make you feel as a musician? Well. The feeling that you get to, to, to perform any given piece, not necessarily what you see, is that the realization you know that you have accomplished something. And uh, that's the beauty of, of music, that you get to express and you, you are an advocate of the music first, and then you get to express the way you feel about a certain piece uh, with the knowledge that you have of the composer and what the piece is based on. For example, if it's an elegy, if it's a tarantella, or if it's a paraphrase of an opera, you know the background of that opera, and then you get to perform this piece and try to make your music portray whatever is going, whatever is going on based on the background history of the opera or the background history of the composer, what was happening at this composer's life at the time, and try to, to portray with your playing distinct, you know, to try to have a meaningful experience with this music, whether it's learning for yourself, whether it's performance for somebody else, and that's, that's, that's the beauty of instrumental music, that, that to be able to portray something with music, only with music, without any words. Awesome. So when can we hear you play some Bodicini for us? Yeah, we will. That's Josue Ramirez talking about Bodicini.